¡Saludos pues a toda la afición de la lucha! Este que les habla es Michael Morales Torres, integrante del equipo de lucha libre online. Y tengo el honor de presentarles a nuestros invitados en la tarde de hoy, de Puerto Rico para el mundo, Santana y Ortiz, Power and Powerful, PNP. Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. I had uh, my cafe Bustelo, so that means I'm in a good mood. Perfect. What about you? I, I did not have my cafe Bustelo, as you can see, <laughs> with my hair and everything. So I'm a. Uh, I'm uh, not doing too well, not yet. Once I get the Bustelo, I'll be all right. <laughs> Perfect, man. Once you get your coffee, you'll be okay. I think the last time I saw you guys in person was in maybe a year ago, August 10, on WWL. So it's really nice seeing you guys uh, once again. But now on a completely different pathway, uh, you are AW Stars. Uh, one of the best companies in the world right now. And, wa and I wanted to speak first about uh, your influences. Let's talk about Puerto Rican pro wrestling. We have Carlos Colon, we have Jose Huertas, we have Pedro Morales, there are Rey Gonzalez, multiple wrestlers uh, from all around the world that came here. This was one of the most important territories and it was broadcasted everywhere. Uh, you guys are from New York. It was broadcasted also over there. Uh, which are the biggest influences on your careers as Puerto Rican wrestlers we're speaking about? Um, I mean, like like you uh, named just now so many great um, Puerto Ricanos that came out of uh, the island and, and who put the wrestling business up to, to its heights. And, and um, I mean, right now, our, our influences is just the, uh, the, um, the entire thing in general. You know what I mean? I mean, Uh, Puerto Rican pro wrestling has always been based off of telling amazing stories and and uh, putting out the most gritty, brutal, violent pro wrestling imaginable. You know what I mean? Our like um, like we like to say in the island, our fans no le gustan a, a que nosotros le cogen a de pendejo. So they they uh, you know what I mean? Like they they like that realness and that grittiness. And I feel like our uh, Our style today has been portraying that the most. You know, we've been focused more on telling more stories and 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 our aggressiveness in the ring. And I think that's what's uh, hooked people the best. You know, our, like if you go back and look at some of the greatest times in pro wrestling, especially on the island, it had to do with some of the bloodiest feuds ever imaginable. You know what I mean? Like you had guys like. Uh, Uh, I mean, everyone, like you said, a lot of guys from, from the States will go over like Abdullah and like Brody and, and, uh, even Conan, you know, when he was feuding with, where, with Carlos Colon, you know, it was some of the most violent, most brutal, but the most amazing storytelling you could even imagine. And that's what I feel like, uh, drew in our people. And that's what we're trying to do today. And what about you, Ortiz? Which are your influences regarding Puerto Rican pro wrestling? Um, I mean, I, I, Santana was so eloquent in the way he worded everything. It's, it, it's hard to uh, to really say any more than that. But definitely, like Savio, um, uh, Pedro Morales, you know, what I mean? like people like that. Savio, for me, would probably be one of the biggest influences. You want know, because he was. Uh, Definitely someone who, who had a lot of uh, international spotlight because of him in, uh, being in WWF at the time. Um, yeah, man, Savio, Los Boricuas, like, seeing them on TV, I was like, yo, that, that's me. That's me right there. Um, th that definitely was a huge influence growing up, man. Awesome, man. Uh, let's talk about uh, having the opportunity that many people wish all their entire lives. So you are on every weekly programming. There's AW Dark, uh, just to plug it in. Uh, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. on YouTube. There's AW Dynamite, 8 p.m. on TNT and Fight TV for worldwide fans. And there are pay-per-views pay uh, every so and then. Uh, as Latin Americans and being part of the inner circle, one of the best factions in the world, uh, my question for you is, what does it feel like to be on this kind of spotlight. I mean, you guys wrestle everywhere, but there's nothing compared to being on weekly TV, maybe twice a week, uh, if you count, if we count uh, AW Dark. 
uh, since October, man. This has been a crazy run. Uh, how has this has been this experience for you? Uh, it, it's been an insane ride, man. Uh, we've said the story before, but I, I'll say it really quickly. Uh, me and Santana really bonded over uh, Chris Jericho's first book. For us, um, a, a Lion's Tale. For us, that was our um, our blueprint to pro, pro wrestling, like how to do it right. Be a journeyman, wrestle everywhere, um, be able to wrestle every style. And then uh, fast forward how many years later, however many years later, um, we're getting to team with him. So uh, it, it's one of the, the, the greatest things ever that you can achieve in life to have something that you dream about every day. We used to go to work every day talking about, we're going to do this, we're going to do it like him. And now we're doing it with him. So, I mean, it's, it, it's been very humbling. Uh, it's been awesome. And uh, uh, I couldn't ask for a better situation, honestly. And to go back to, uh, you know, how it feels to be uh, Puerto Rican and be in the, the spotlight that we're in, it's, uh, it's a big deal, you know, to us. Uh, of course, throughout the history of pro wrestling, if you look back, there hasn't been many uh, Puerto Ricanos in, in the spotlight that we're in and who have been given the opportunity to shine and to be at that top tier level. Um, and the fact that we're able to do that, not just for ourselves, but our people, our culture, it means uh, the absolute world, you know what I mean? If you go back, uh, a lot of Puerto Ricans in pro wrestling haven't been uh, looked at or haven't been portrayed as uh, the best things, you know what I mean? If, if you want to be real and blunt with it, um, but the fact that we're able to do what we do and, and still be ourselves and stay true to ourselves is something huge to us. And then um, if you go back to um, a few years ago, uh, not even a few years ago, maybe a year or two ago, where uh, we were having our feud all around the world with Penta and Phoenix, um, we got to actually main event a pay-per-view. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe uh, – Maybe some pro wrestling historians could could uh, check this out. But um, us and, and the Lucha Brothers were probably the first ever Latinos to main event a pay-per-view and being where the, the match, all of us were Latino. I don't think that's ever been uh, done before, and I think that's a huge deal for us. And especially not just being Latino, but being Puerto Rican, um, yeah, it's it's super huge. We hear us say all the time, being proud and being powerful, and uh, we take that to heart. You know what I mean? Like like we said, there's not a lot of uh, guys coming from where we come from that have been given this opportunity to to shine at the top level. So uh, trust me, we don't take it for granted, and and we make the most of it. You know. Awesome guys. Uh, I wanted to mention the fact that. The, the internet community regarding wrestling, it's been divided in so many things, but there's something we can all agree, and that's AW's tag team division being the number one in the world. It's, that's, that's not debatable. We have the Young Bucks, we have FTR, we have Kenny Omega and Hangman Page, Lucia Brothers, PNP, Private Party, Sonny Kiss and Joey Janela, Dark Order. There are so many great teams here. Uh, the tag team champions currently are Hangman Page and Kenny Omega. We've seen you have gold all around the world. My, uh, my question for you is maybe a combined one. Uh, how does it feel to be part of this incredible tag team division and this company that respects what is uh, tag team pro wrestling and if you obviously are still pursuing the tag team champions? Well, for, for us, you know, uh, that... That's a huge, to answer the first question, that was a huge um, reason why we decided to uh, come to AEW and, and um, help build this company is because they were putting tag team wrestling at the forefront. And it's something that we've spent years trying to perfect and trying to uh, uh, make better, not just ourselves, but in just seen as, as something that could be the main event of any show. Um, and we've proven that, you know, in, in our careers that many times that we've main evented shows and, and have done amazing tag team matches. But, um, yeah, that was that was a huge part in us making our decision to come here and and to be a part of this uh, amazingly stacked 
tag team roster that that's here you know what i mean and not only that we want to be a part of it but we wanted to show why our brand and our style is is the best and why we're at the top of our our game and why we uh you know not only do we want to become better but we want to make everyone else better and the entire company better and uh to go to the tag team champions i mean to be real it's it's uh kenny omega and hangman page like what more can you say? These guys have, have busted their asses all around the world, and they've uh, proven that they are some of the top pro wrestlers in the game. But when it comes to tag team wrestling, they've they've uh, done their part. But I feel like uh, you know they're they're placeholders right now, and they uh, it's about time that uh, a nasty ass tag team steps up and, and does what they got to do. Awesome. Uh, Ortiz, uh, what are your take? What is your take specifically on that topic? Um, AW's tag team division being number one and obviously uh, the tag team champions Omega and Hangman Page. I mean, uh, selfishly, uh, it, Santana said we that was a huge part of our decision making and coming to AEW. And we've always gotten better and, and have achieved a new um milestone in our career by wrestling teams better than us and we wanted to go somewhere where there were people better than us so we we have a moniker uh, or a tagline that we always use best to be the best and i'll yell best 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 and it, it's because uh, we really believe it and uh, we want to test ourselves constantly and like you said and like santana said uh we're in the the place to do it um, there, there isn't a lot of other companies out there with this stack roster. Like, you, probably not as far as tag team wrestling goes. And uh, yeah, we, we, we wanted to be constantly challenged. And speaking of Kenny Omega and Hangman, when we finally have uh, just a straight up tag match, with them, we've we've been in the ring with them, uh, Stadium Stampede, uh, other situations, other multi man matches, but we haven't gone just uh two on two with them and uh i can't wait um they're definitely uh great wrestlers but they're not the best tag team amazing uh guys uh, it's really important uh, sorry i should mention this in spanish AEW tendrá su evento eh, all out va a ser el, el sábado 5 de septiembre va a estar disponible a través de fight tv a través de vr live no se lo pueden perder eh, recuerden también ver la programación de IW semanal IW Dynamite a las 8 de la noche hora del este a través de TNT y a través de Fight TV para el público internacional IW Dark eh, los martes a las 7 de la noche a través de YouTube guys last but not least uh, what's been working uh, with Chris Jericho that's that's an amazing experience is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time uh, what's been your experience with him Well, I, I, I touched on it earlier. Uh, it's a great experience. Uh, working with him, uh, you know, they say, uh, I always been said before, don't meet the, the people you look up to, the people that are your idols. And, I mean, that couldn't be more wrong when it comes to Jericho. I mean, he's been awesome. Uh, definitely a, a person, if we need advice, we can go to consistently. Um It's cool. Like, we were just talking about it the other day. I was, like, in Santana. We was, like, yo, we get to text Chris Jericho. So cool. Um, it's it, it's been an awesome experience, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, uh, Jericho is, is the type of guy that when you're around him, you're going to learn something. You know what I mean? It's it's He's, like, one of those guys that he doesn't need to uh, constantly say or tell you Uh, or give advice, but if you watch him and you watch the way he moves or you watch the way he does certain things or, like, it's just a constant learning experience being around him and working with him. And um, the fact that he he gets to help make all of us better uh, and as a whole, you know what I mean, and, and the entire – um, it's just been a great experience. And, I mean, like you said, what better learning tree to be under than than someone who's – who's considered to be the greatest of all time. And uh, with a track record and with uh, a career like his, it's pretty hard to, to deny any of that. You know what I mean? The guy has been all around the world. He's won 
every uh, title imaginable that you could think of. He's done. He's been so many uh, first times, and um, he continues to send and continues to be like like we all like to say the greatest of all time. And um, you know, we look forward to continuing this learning process and continuing to build this relationship with him. And and yeah, it's it's been great. Uh, guys, I thank you so much for your time. Also to Erin and the AEW team for making this possible. Always wishing you the best of luck. The most important part uh, to the fans, go to shopaw.com, shopaw.com to get that Boricuas t-shirt. Man, that looks sick. Uh, that looks sick. I'm getting one of one for me, obviously. It looks uh, so cool. Shopaw.com and follow them on Ortiz underscore powerful and Santana underscore proud on all social media, Instagram, Twitter. Obviously, also follow all Elite Wrestling in all platforms. Thank you so much for your time, and I always wish you the best of luck. Awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, man.